August 27, 2006, OregonLive.com reported the death of Mark A. Lee, the first United States Navy SEAL to die in Afghanistan. iCasualties.org of 2009 reported that since the United States entered Afghanistan, 2,041 fatalities have occurred during Operation Enduring Freedom. Unfortunately, Lee was part of this statistic. Though the SEALs are outfitted with advanced weaponry and also advanced technology, those advanced technologies and weaponry could have saved his life. The SEALs are an elite unit that defends our country, among with many others um, that are part of the Special Forces units. They are equipped with deadly weaponry, advanced gadgets like SmartSight, and future weapons like the XM25. <clears throat> Though the SEALs are outfitted with a variety of weaponry, The seals are outfitted with a variety of deadly weaponry. Popular Mechanics of 2010 reports that the king among the U.S. Special Forces is the 50 cal M82. This weapon is very reliable. I'm getting stuck. No, I'm hard. <laughs> I've already like shattered. Stop killing. I can't. Come on. A more accurate submachine gun. You know your topic top. A more accurate submachine gun. Submachine gun. Submachine gun. All right, popularmechanics.com reported that 50 cal is among the U.S. Special Forces king amongst weapons. It is a very reliable weapon, and when compared to others, it is unmatched. Occasionally, this weapon is also taken the name of Old Faithful. Though the M82 is reliable uh, when faced with close quarters confrontations, an accurate submachine gun is the best solution. The US Special Forces and other elite forces depend upon the MP5. According to NavySeals.com of 2010, the MP5 is an accurate, is a unique weapon because it has a fully, a full throttle release system, which allows the weapon to fully retract in a breached, um, I'm done. <laughs> I can't get okay. through.